Like, I love it. I love to feel that animal carnal energy from somebody. Do you want somebody to slap your ass, slap you in the Why face, not? pull your yeah. hair? Yeah, I like I, I like a see. nice strong grip. Mm -hmm. I don't want you going anywhere if you don't want me going anywhere. Like, let's do this. Another great place for foreplay is always in the DMs. So that being said, uh, we did put it out to our fans, we did do our an followers. And that can go either way. Oh. We got a few good ones in here. We got some good questions. Any questions regarding porn injuries and or odd fetish requests? That hard thing is like to say odd, because I mean, you know, I there's a big fetish where like girls are sitting like on balloons until they yeah. pop. There's a big balloon lunar, fetish lunars, thing. Yeah. Lunars? I think they're called lunars. I didn't know that. See? I mean, the basics, we've talked about butthole tears every now and again. If you don't stretch enough and there's not a lot of lube, like, you might hurt your, your beautiful butthole. And you need that. Like, no one wants to have asshole surgery. You need that for life. This is number eight. Oh, Jesus. We're on our eighth date, everybody. At this point, you're begging, okay? You're like, please marry me, Laura. I know. Is it true that a girl decides within 10 seconds whether she will sleep with a man? I think within 10 seconds she knows that if she initially wants to. And really whatever happens after that 10 seconds is either like confirming or like ruining that for them. So yeah. I would say yeah. I, like a first impression is made in yeah. 10 seconds. I mean, well before that we already start going in a direction, yeah. you know? And the visual of somebody like walking into a room, how they walk into a room, the way yeah. they hold themselves, like that really matters for me too. The first hellos and icebreakers, mm -hmm. you do kind of get a hang of their rhythm. Yes. You know, of how they express themselves. And in that moment, you either, you know about a confidence, mm -hmm. which is highly fuckable. Confidence yes. is so sexy. Where's the best place to take pictures in LA? Other than Romy Rain's house. I mean, honestly. With her with ring me. light. Honestly, uh, yeah. yeah. It can get extreme. Well, sometimes they don't know where they're putting it. And uh, honestly. You have to know how to choke somebody. You have to know. <laughs> kind of. That's a funny thing you do. And though. you don't just do it because, hey, you know what? We were building up to it. You weren't building up to it, okay? Yeah. No. <laughs> you have to get Do you know how hot it is to turn to your partner and just be like, hey, mm -hmm. I'd kind of like to choke you. Are you okay with that? <laughs> I love somebody asking I mean, to do it. That's even better. I thought you were going to ask to get choked. With okay, well, yeah, of course, there's always that side, but no, I'm trying better. to cover both grounds here. I just love movies with, like, great sexual tension. It doesn't yeah. need to be about how much nudity is in the movie Agreed. or whether or not there's a sex scene. Like, mm -hmm. I can get so much out of a great on-screen dynamic, a yeah. power play, whatever it might be. I mean, there's a remake of a great movie uh, called The Postman Always Rings Twice. Oh, yes. And it's, uh, I believe, an 80s version with Jessica Lange and Jack Nicholson. Mm. And I remember watching that as, like, maybe a 13 year old honestly like I, I watched a lot of movies as a kid yeah yeah and there is such masterful erotic chemistry between them that I felt wrong watching it I love that there's yeah. not enough of that like really like great passionate connected like chemistry you don't yeah. see enough chemistry and I can't get aroused by a movie I would rather there not be a sex scene in a movie than if there's a sex scene where everybody is very obviously wearing their clothes yeah. there's always like a woman riding a guy she's always in cowgirl with her fucking bra on yeah that's not how shit True. works I believe in the circle of life and I believe and we oh my god we're gonna get really into it now and I believe that you know we are very foolish if we think that we're alone in the universe so that there, I believe that there are other galaxies, other beings, other planets. Romy. Let's get weird. Let's talk about it now. If there are other like life forms out there that we could reach at this, this time or could reach us, we probably don't want to meet them if they could get to us before we could get to them because they would just colonize the fuck out of us like we would do to them if we had the technology and ability. So everybody trying to send these like signals. So then I would just seduce them. Like come to, the to come to this planet. No, there's Challenge like, don't me. do that. I will be the model. Hari and I will seduce you so hard that you'll turn over all of your information and you know what I'll reign superior I'll be fine but I love this conversation and we should elaborate on it in the future in season I, two we need to talk about oh definitely we should do it while like laying under the stars or something honestly let's talk right. about other life forms and chill mm -hmm.